Hello, folks, and welcome back to MechWarrior 5. I'm Black Templar, and I'm joined by... Bookmaster here, we're finally done with all the DLC. If only barely, considering that marathon run. Yeah. Now, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little, um, detour for just a moment, because we got some... We want to get some quick cash before we, um, head off to our main objective. What, cash? Last I checked, we had, like, 50, 60 million or something. Where's our seatbelt plumbing? Well, it's all the traveling we have to do, because to get to the next story mission, guys, we have to travel half the galaxy. It's a pain in the ass. Well, if we should we should be perfectly fine. There's only, like, what, 2 million per 90 days, I think? Yep. To how the funds and maintenance is done. Yep. So we should be okay there. It's just a matter of the missions will actually be worth the <laughs> trips. Yep. It'll give us enough funds to manage ourselves. Mm-hmm. So, let's see, um... Oh, we're already jumping to a mission. Which one is this? It's Assassination. Alright, nice and simple. And, and we got all our mechs back, too. Yep, and we got a Centurion, though, that's a bit sus. The Centurion C9A? Yeah, it doesn't have ammo currently, it looks like. Uh, so that'll have to be fixed up. Let me have a quick look. Yeah. That should be a simple enough fix. It's all repaired, not everything else. We got two, and that's a problem. Oh, yeah, it's the AC ten. Probably we don't have a replacement, do we? No, let's put them in the guess. let's put them in the cold storage for now until um. Because we it will Can we see this? it will lower the the bill yep. at least. Yep, and we'll seriously have to start considering which mechs we want to upgrade for our final missions here. Every <laughs> little bit of power is kind of necessary. Indeed, um, you're gonna stick with the zoo. Oh, you're going down with the Marauder, so. Yep. Right. So, fortunately, this guy's going to have to stay out. Well, it can continue to downgrade there. I could very easily go back down to the Jenner or the Locust if needed, so that shouldn't be an issue. No, yeah, you can go. If you go to 50, we could pull something off. There uh. we go. Hatchet Man. Okay. Blood for the Blood God. Uh, you, uh, what can we go with you? We can get a, a medium or, well, it's the light mech primarily. Yeah. Yeah, we have thirty-five tons. <coughs> yeah, so let's that's easily a general light mech. We'll give him the javelin. Works for me. We're gonna have to get used to be piling our smaller mechs there again, considering we're so used to four hundred ton allowances. Well, it couldn't be helped. I mean, the bows we were having were just out of control at times. Well, like I said, that was kind of more end game type of missions, so we kind of shortcut it a tiny bit. Since we were still tier tier one weaponry and gear, after all. And then otherwise, I can't see a damn thing. Let's get night vision going. I'm guessing we're doing night ops. Uh, no, it's just the um, just the desert. It's surprisingly dark though, especially in the jump ship or drop ship. Right in this area, we've got an assassinate, and we also got to find some loot. Yep, which way do we want to go? Because we got well, a few choices here. Well, let's see what, if the loot shows up. Hello. All right, our target, our course is set. Yep, there it is. Yep, <coughs> our course is clear. Yep, yeah, it's way over on the other side, so... Yep, we so... We are going to be destroying everything, pretty much. Yep. But otherwise, I... I, yeah, I only used the Hatchet Man once up to this point, so I'm I'm probably just going to st stay out of cover when we encounter some mechs and wait for them to get close. Fair enough. Because <coughs> I don't quite recall how durable this thing is. Um, It's not. It's um, If you can get into combat well, with, with your axe, you're just going to murder them. Yeah, it's like 40 damage. I just know I got rid of the jump jets to max up the armor. So yeah. I should still be durable. I just uh, <coughs> don't think I'm a frontliner like the Centaurian would be. Otherwise, bit of walking ahead of us. Yeah, but if we get this treasure, it's um, the canteen will be happy with us, and we can get some more. Um, oh, hello, got a. It's a scorpion. Yep. Uh, I'm fine with the e small prey. <coughs> First buildings. It's been pretty quiet. I'm not used to this Hello. type of... Qu oh, 
Cicada, easy target. Well, he's not here, but we've still got to go to our destination for that treasure. Yep, keep an eye out for a cicada and turrets are up. What turret? The there he mobile is. one on a ho the hovercraft. That's what I'm referring to. There we go. Cicada, you're too fast, sadly, for me to actually chop you. Well. Well, I don't know if that was me hitting with the <coughs> axe or what, but he got cored real fast. Well, I ain't arguing. Let's get out of here. Yep, still ways to walk, but this will more than likely lead us to our target, because they <laughs> like to have it as the very last possible spot. Uh-huh. we got a helicopter behind, behind us. us. The tank? I thought it was a helicopter. A uh, scorpion tank, so AC-5. We do have the buildings, but keep, see if you can pop it when you get a chance. Oh, it's nearly dead, all right. Yeah, if it was anything else, it wouldn't be an issue, but that AC-5 could still hit us. Yep. <clears throat> I'll just wait in this uh, canyon while you finish it up then. I've sent the lance mates to deal with it. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I like the idea of keeping them together, even if our lance mates aren't ideal. There we go. They're on their way. And we're nearing our destination. Oh, hello. So we do have a mech around somewhere, just don't know where it is. If I'm going to venture to guess it, they're here. Locust. Up two of them. One looks like a panther. Him I could take care of. Can you take care of the locust? Damn it. Yep, locust's leg sadly can't melee it very well. Ow, oh shit. Come here, get closer. I think you're going to get him easy. Oh, I think you just took off his arm. There we go. Choppy, choppy. Well, I mean, that's what he does. And they call themselves mech pilots. You should never get hit by a melee weapon in a light mech. Well, to be fair, the Panther's not a light mech. It's a sniper class mech. It's a mobile sniper. It has the jump jet supposed to keep a distance, which is what anything but what AI does. True enough. <clears throat> unless All you're play right, so unless you're playing in the Battletech game, which they actually do do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Now if only we can have more reliable AI like that that keeps things interesting. Well, I wouldn't call rather them rather than having us throw yeah, rather than having them throw a million mechs at us like most of these campaigns. Well, to be fair, they're not totally reliable, but you, you expect a fight out of them. Indeed. All right, we found them. Good. All right, yep. Shadowhawk. First target's a Shadowhawk. And a Blackjack. I could try and keep a target lock there, but I can't really do anything for a time being. Damn it, that Blackjack's hitting me hard. That's probably the priority because the others aren't as scary at range. It looks like he could be cored. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, you could take him out. Yep, so you know there's salvage behind us too when we clean up. Oh, I picked it up. No, it's, I, not the objective. I mean like additional salvage. Okay. Oh, Griffin's engaging me. Right. Oh, you can beat the Griffin up easy with your axe. Yep, and all his weapons are on one side, so Ooh. it's really easy to neuter. Did, did you just say um, I will explode him there? His ammo, yep, he has no weapons. The Griffin's useless. Okay. The Vulcan's now yours. Yep, picked it up. Brilliant. 
Vulcan's pretty much dead. Get back here, dang it. I I think I need to fight some assault mechs with this axe. Oh, here comes some free you can punch. Yep, black yeah, blackjack's still good. We gotta finish off. All right, on to the Shadowhawk. Let's give it to this guy first. Well, it has no weaponry. It's just the melee fist you have to be mindful of. Nice. Right. Are we engaging Shadowhawk? Uh-oh, we got company. Drop ship. Okay, turn around. So we got another Falcon dropping down. That looks like the only mech from the reinforcements. Oh, the Shadowhawk is defenseless. You could chop it up oh. for days now. Yep, I'm nowhere near it, though. I'm engaging the Falcon. It looks like a spider came with it. You can handle it? Right, that's it. Once I get close. Oh, it's back over there. Did you get him? The Falk is down. I'll leave that to you. Yep. Oh, the spider. I'm nowhere near a spider. And, of course, going to have a hard time chopping it. Not unless I get some help. Yep, I'm trying to leg it now. Spider's legged. We're all clear for the evac. Well, with 26 salvage, we could get some decent parts. Yep. Only our javelin took internal damage. So uh, we're all good otherwise. Oh, that's easy repairable. Nice, simple. Shouldn't be too drastic. Oh, yeah. As long as we get something to make it worth it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's see some good stuff. Let's hope so. Although, I don't think... I don't think we're going to get good choices for mechs, considering we only fought mediums. No, but... Ooh, some good um, level 1s, which we could use. Griffin... Short burst, yeah. Take it so we can sell the... it. Yep, because I know the locust I've been using those few times makes use of the short burst lasers. I don't care so much for a tier zeros, since that's technically a downgrade from even the stock various mechs we buy. True, but at the same time, it never hurts to bring them because you never know when a canteen might want them. Ooh, reduce power consumption. Well, that could be handy. Ooh, and faster missile reload time. Nice. Yep. We'll have to see if any of these <coughs> mechs, especially our atlases there, since we have two of them, with some of these upgrades. No, yeah, true. But uh, first things first. Let's get these guys I repaired. Think I have every yeah, because I think I have all the upgrades I could need on the awesome, I think, unless we get something really special. So the mech. Because the pin. There we go. All right, the next mission would be a defense mission. Easy done, isn't it? Shouldn't be too difficult, so long as we don't blow up the, uh, think the facility while we're at it. We shouldn't be that bad. Oh, my. They're offering a high pay grade for us. I'm all for that. Like I said, that's the only concern. Go downgrade to these uh, lower, uh, easier missions is the pay may not be worth it. Maybe not, but the damage cover is good. They're giving us over 1.6 million damage cover. Well, the only catch with that is we actually have to take that damage to actually benefit from it. Yeah, but it's still worth it. Until we take no damage at all, and then we get nothing from the actual pay payment. Mm -hmm. So the Saturian can't fight, and nor can the Javelin. All right. So we've got the Hunchback. And well, let's go to the Jenna. Yep, and if needed, I can always downgrade to... Actually, let me take the Jenna there. A little yeah. bit of mobility be... Yeah, go well, ahead. Mobility is definitely useful, especially if we ever get artillery, which it shouldn't happen for defense, but you, I don't think I need to tell you how frustrating it is with us in assault mechs like that last episode or last few episodes dealing with artillery. Uh, tell me about it. 
and a general can do a lot of work there. We got a helper, but he probably looks worse for wear, no in our luck. Well, that's always what they are, because we're relieving them, essentially. That's normally the case of how it works. Just be careful of your heat since we're on a volcanic world. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright, 16 enemies. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yep, just gotta figure out where they're coming from. Uh, oh, right, right. Focus, spot it. And, pr and Panther spot it. Alright, so where's the Panther? I saw... I see the locust there over to the west. Where was the panther? To the east. I'll deal with him. Yep, I'll just wait till the locust to get close, then I'll pounce them. Because they are separated, so I'll try and support you until the locust gets close. Good luck with that. Well, that was an easy enough kill. Well, to be fair, they... Oh, here's your Locus. Yep. Poor fella's not even going to have a chance. Did I literally rammed him. I'm about to say, did you just ram into him? Yep, I rammed into him and he basically died, it looks like. Oh, we got a helicopter, we got a vault, and I think a couple of tanks by the looks of it. Gonna have a hard time with the aircrafts due to my range. I'll handle it. Nice shot. Yep, stagger. Yep, stagger missiles if you need to, because of course they would be overkill with your LRMs. Die, Jaeger. Ooh, got another job in the cantina finished. Good, good. Very nice. <clears throat> That's a win in my books. Oh, behind you, you've got a Yep. Yep, they're all right here. Oh, God. An we LMR 60. Watch out. Yep, and we got... And we have a fire star. That's the big close range threat. Both arms are about to fall off, and that'll be most his weaponry. How the hell is that LMO 16 not dead? I don't know. We're just probably not engaging it yet. Yeah, we're trying to kill them, but they're just being stubborn. Take place only a small amount of damage. Whoa, what did you where did he pop up from? Yep, I guess this is hot after all. Jeez, I thought I had enough time to cool down there. Look out, run. Yep, fire is pretty much limping. And the explosion, I'm good there at least. All okay, right, more max nerf fire starter. Right. We got an airborne threat coming in. Yep, this is the last wave there, so I'll just I'll deal with the aircrafts. Or at least the one that survived. Ah, your missiles missed, sadly. I really need the better reload time and speed on the missiles. Yep, oh, I got one. I'll get the other one, then I'll join you there. Since I need to cool down a bit. Same here. I got to stay still for a little bit to cool. Yep, let's see. Our last two max Panther and a fire starter. One more hit on the fire star, we'll finish it. It's just a Panther now. And he's dead. We are done. Hey, free cash, free salvage, and a free damage cover. That should be a pretty penny to work with. Well, the only problem is, yeah. 
We took no internal damage, so that's going to be very minor damage coverage, sadly. It would be nice to benefit from it. But that's kind of asking us to miss out on weaponry components to really benefit from that high of coverage. Right, let's see well, how this went. Yep, yeah, let's see how the repairs are. Ooh, level 2 laser. Two fire stars. Yeah, I'll take one of the fire starters to sell and more level 2 lasers. So level yeah, one. damages is only 150k there. 140k rather. So, very light. Oh yeah, but we got another mech to sell anyway, so that saves us a headache. And then our, we got our mis mission done there too. Yep. Alright, put you into the cold storage for now. As far as the Atlas yeah, we goes, we might have... To, if we're going to repair that, we'll save that for the bigger battles, you know what I mean? Well, we will need to start repairing at some point that second Atlas to get at least ready for it. Agreed. What What's one actual hub area where it's actually affordable to repair it? Uh, there's one close nearby, but what's this? A campaign mission. Conspiracy? Conspiracy, you say? Oh, it's for the house of, um... It's what it's the heroes the inner sphere DLC, but it's a campaign mission. That's odd. Ooh. Our main mission's all the so, way in Merrick space. Okay then. So which one's closer? Because apparently we've got more DLC <coughs> missions. Well, we'll head to the inner sphere one because it's right next door. Right, I headed to a hub, so I'll bring the Atlas out of cold storage, and you can have a look at it, see what you can do. Yep. Yeah, I would say at least one of these atlases, which we should upgrade to higher tier weaponry there, to for when you're finally ready to bring out the big guns. <clears throat> oh, rare hero assassin. Ugh. Pretty crappy if you ask me. Yeah, assassin's not really all that. It's not true to its name, considering all the other mechs we have to choose from, essentially. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Anyhow, um... it does have, it does have the speed, but then again, it's just like a cicada at that point. Well. Hold on, uh, if we move on to the other side before I bring it out, because it's like a proper fat manufactorum. Manufactorum, huh? <clears throat> We're going 40k all of a sudden. Well, believe it or not, there's actually a mod where you can turn some of the mechs into dreadnoughts or knights. <laughs> That'll be fun. Anyhow, um, while we're here. Yep, let uh, me know when you're ready there. I'll have Atlas is I'll start out. with the B. Okay, I'll start with the basic repair, see how much that costs. Hmm. So, half a million for the regular armor Ooh. repair. You want a Centurion? Yeah, you can have it. Kill vaults. Treasure Hunter? Yeah, I think we could do all these missions. Alright. So, I have... So, I'm, again, thinking of upgrading or putting high-quality weaponry on this Atlas for when we're ready to use it. Are yeah. you okay with that? Go for it. Because we got two... Yeah, we have two Tier 5 AC-20s to throw on this. At least one here, and we'll have a spare if we really need to. Well, I'm checking the market. There's an AC-BF version of the AC-20, which is more powerful. AC what? AC-20-BF. Yeah, we already have two BFs. They're burst fire. Yep. So, yeah. Ooh, a level 5 AMS. Grab... Although, I have another question. Would you rather a Gauss rifle instead of an AC-20 on this thing? No. Tier 3 Gauss rifle. Gauss are hard to get a hold of. For the meantime, stick with them. Um, until, how, we've only got like, what, I think only two Gauss. I would rather save the Gauss for when we need it. Well, isn't that the whole point of getting out this Atlas for when we really need it? Um, On one hand, yes. But one hand, no. We, we I would say it's best to save the Gauss for when we get another um like you know the other mech the other atlas we got yeah i know one atlas i'm kidding out the second atlas for the high tier stuff and the first other one we have is just generic at the moment yeah i think with the other atlas for the meantime i think we best upgrade it f first you know do it put its upgrade parts on yeah you can do that there if you want yeah, the um, no, I'm just yeah the like the upgrade parts like the um like the re reloads the energy output stronger frames yep. and all that. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so 
let's see. So what kind of missiles would you like on this Atlas there? Just keep a close range brawler or do you want the LRMs on it? I think a close range brawler would be the best. Cause the problem right, because we've got a stalker who's gonna be our long range fighter. Well, right now, the Stalker's only two large lasers and a bunch of medium lasers at the moment, and SRMs, because that's a lot more simplistic <coughs> get value out of it. But well, we can have this as an upgrade version of the Stalker, essentially being 100 tons for crying out loud. Yeah. All right, so let's see. I don't. Would, and I have four medium lasers on it, or would you like two mm. of them to be upgraded to large? Actually, can I even fit large on here? No, they're medium slots, yeah. so never mind. They're medium lasers. <clears throat> well, our friend here, the other Atlas, has got no upgrades on, so we're going to have to work on him. So let's have a look. Refined armor, give him two-point added armor. That's always good. Internal structures means he's harder to kill. Now, what to do about you? I don't want to give you the energy, but I also want projectiles. Hmm. Missile damage is not worthy with these guys, so. Hmm. Energy cooldown would be good, wouldn't it? It can be. It depends on how much you're relying on weaponry for... What is this? Is this the Atlas? Yeah. It's the other Atlas, the one we've got. Yeah, probably. I think... Yeah, I think the big thing you want to focus on if far, as far as weaponry is something for faster rate of fire or more power for the auto can, since that's your main weapon there. Well, I can... Well, I've got heat reduction and heat dispersal, because that means your cooling rate's faster. I don't need sensor range or target range. Um, increase the laser damage would help, because there's 9 out of 10. The rockets are not going to get close enough, are they? For what? The the rockets are, are not going to be useful until we get like right in their face. So, Which rockets are we talking about? The SRMs? Yeah, the SRM6s I've got. They could do some good damage there. It's just the cl how they're spread out in a lot of cases. It's hard to hit the consistently the same spot. Yeah, but I think um, refined armor level one, fortified internal structure level one. I mean, this is good until we get replacements, you know what I mean? Sounds good. Three million in 76 days. That's fine. So he's out for a while, which is to be fair. He is getting an upgrade. Yep, I'm just filling out the tonnage on this at Atlas here. Let's see, I have three tons of AC-20, only one ton of SRM ammo, which will be pretty hard to go through, considering how close you need to be. So I think that should be all okay. Yep, and we, yeah. we still got we even still got the other Zeus still hanging about in our cold storage. Yep, it's just a question if we want to do anything with it, because it, we <coughs> did get a bunch of lost tech from it, but it is an awkward variant. It's kind of an all-rounder. Yeah, I, I don't recommend using them for the time being. I mean, the Stalker's only here for the short term until we get the Long Missile Variant one. Alright. So tell us when he's built and we'll send it and we'll go out. Yep, just putting in a bunch of single heat sinks to round it out. And now just gotta bring down the tonnage a bit to actually fit. Just give me a quick moment. I'm actually gonna... If possible, me. No, uh, we don't have half tonnage AC. Oh, did you, what happened? Did you just move? No, I just painted it. Well, you undid everything I just did. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I did. It could do that. I didn't know it could do that. Yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> I'll make this quick there. Yep. I mean, I've got our next place to go to. Anyway, we've got two areas to go. Two areas to go to. We have one here. We have one there to collect treasure. And then we've got to kill lots of vaults. So, shouldn't be too odd.
<clears throat> All right, weapons are on. Let me just check the armor and then round out everything else quickly. Mm -hmm. I was hoping if I had half ton of AC-20 ammo, that would help round things out because I had to figure out where ha half a ton is supposed to come in. Let me have a look, see if I can get, find half a ton of um, AC-20 ammo. Give me a sec. No worries. Let's see. Um... Ah, you're in luck. Try that these. That works now. Let me... Perfect. <coughs> that should... So let's see. Now let me just fill out the armor. Because that was the idea there, to max out everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Right. Russia Empire wants us back, and they're willing to give us an Orion 1M. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I am all done, ready to confirm the work order for the second Atlas. It currently has the Tier 5 AC-20 Burst, uh -huh. four Tier 4 Meme Lasers, Yep. Two SRM6, tier three with Artemis. Uh -huh. And only f only four double heat sinks, the rest are singles. Yep, no problem. Yeah, two of the yeah, two of the doubles are on the engine itself, so hmm. that should at least be likely to avoid damage that way. Yep. That Orion looks like a tasty thing to grab. It's a nice seventy five tonner, a good all rounder. Well it's an M one variant. Yeah, I don't recall which one that is, alas. Well, we might we can go back up there and get it, but first order business though. First things first. Yep, let's. I'm all done there. The work order is underway. Yep. Let's see how long will it take for the Atlas to be ready. Eighty six days, alas, but it'll be fully kitted out when it's done. Yep. <clears throat> all right. And then hopefully you'll be demolishing things once it's all ready. You just will need to get close enough to obliterate them. Well, we'll have to do is upgrade parts as well. Let's see. Yep. We can worry about that once it's done. Because I know your other Atlas, you were looking to upgrade. So, and those can be a bit pricey sometimes. Actually, it only cost me three million. Yeah, as I mean there. Especially mul upgrading multiple mechs there that we're going to be using. <coughs> that can add up pretty quick. Yeah, but we have made, yeah. we have made some... We're going to make some money, though, to... Yeah, because it, it didn't actually cost that much extra Ooh. to fit the weaponry and gear on the Atlas. It was just the repairs that was the nice. expensive part. We're in the black market. Hmm, anything good. Ultra ammo. Ultra ACs, huh? Well, there's a level 3 LBX grabbing them because they will be good for some other mechs later. Yep. Ultra, 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 where are you? Oh, there's no Ultra here, but... So that means... I'll still grab it, because you never know when we'll find an Ultra. It would be nice. But what's it for, though? LBX 10s. Yep. I'm actually going to get a couple more of them, so that we've got some ammo. Um, Ultras. Um... Ultras, ultras, ultras. Ah, uh, it's only for AC5 ultras. Nah, not worth it. Ah, uh, well, that's the only AC, uh, ultras that are available, I guess. So, good for long-range rapid fire. Yep. All right. Collect two Jenners in a force. Oh, we've got two commandos. I can give them the two commandos we've got in storage. Sounds good. Do we have an enforcer? I don't know. Nice. So about Damage turning. Almost. Nice. We do have an enforcer. Very nice. Check if you've got any two Jenners. Ooh, I see we got a tier two missile reload, apparently. Yep. Um, let's see. Jenners. Nope, we don't have any. Oh, we do have one, but I don't want to sell the other one. Yeah, because one of them we're using <coughs> currently. Yeah, so we'll still take the mission. I mean, another Jenna can't be hard to find. So long as you keep tabs on the intel, see what we're likely to encounter. All right. Just don't accidentally confirm the ge the Jenner mission. We can pick it up on the way, so let's see. Let's get to a mission. Okay, first one is Beachhead, but that's where we'll need to do our... 
to get our mission. To get our treasure. Right. So we're off today. So this one. Let's have a look. Um, I better look at the intel first. So where's the intel page? It's on the bottom right of the star map, if I remember correctly. Ah. A little, a little tricky to know because I can't really see much. I'm limiting my options here, being the co-op <coughs> player. Playing. All right, here we go. Caseda, 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 Caseda. Centurions. Assassins. Commandos. Hmm, a crab. <coughs> we don't care for crabs unless they're a king crab. Whoa, we got Jaeger Max running about. So we got. Yep, there's Jenna's in this area. Yep, just depends how likely we are to encounter them. Well, we might as well go for it. So, anyhow, it's um. Yep. Yep, it's been a it's been a few days. It's been a month, maybe. I don't <laughs> know how long actually passed by, but I'm ready to. What the heck, tech text block? What is this? Uh. What's up? Oh, oh, snowstorm. Never mind. Okay, it just hadn't loaded fully. I guess. So I was looking at visibility and it said something weird. So. 230, huh? Hmm. Yep, we're already set here, but enough time for you to upgrade <coughs> if you need it. Um, I think you best upgrade, because... Actually, no, it's Beachhead. We might need your speed for this. Yep, that's fine there. I could take either the Locust or the Jenner there, depending on how our tonnage looks. Um, Jenner might so be the best option. I'm bringing in some Heavy Hitter. Well, the Locust can work just as well, almost. I just miss out on the missiles and, of course, a little bit less armor. Just a question on what we need <coughs> for tonnage. So thirties. No, we don't need you. There we go. Perfect. We look good. All right, time to rock and roll. <coughs> yep. 